Hi, this is Chris Wong with another workout video. Uh, main focus for this workout is uh, upper back, or just mainly focusing on uh, doing uh, rows while uh, uh, standing. So I actually started off with uh, neck curls. I I find that because I was planning to do uh, cheating rows or cheating panley rows, that if I didn't prepare my neck properly, I can get neck pain. And I have gotten neck pain a few times from doing cheating rows. So I just did enough just to uh, activate the neck uh, flexor muscles. So 30 pounds and 50 pounds is what I uh, work towards. I actually uh, don't think about trying to get like a new personal record on uh, doing uh, neck curls. Like I've tried uh, times before where I worked up to uh, 70 pounds or even 80 pounds but to get into position and uh, put the bar or put the dumbbell down it was quite challenging so I just stopped at 50 pounds and just if I could do more reps I'll do it but if not I just do enough to get some activation. So one thing I thought about after doing this workout is uh, should I have just stuck to one variation for the entire workout just so I can actually focus on how the uh, lift feels. Like I noticed that when I did this workout I actually even though I had more time to uh, do more variations and more time to warm up for this exercise I did different variations like uh, supinated grip um, rowing. I started off with an empty bar just to uh, do supinated grip rowing with no uh, uh, intention of um, doing it cheating style. Just to activate the back muscles just to see if I could uh, uh, just row properly like bring the elbows up. And then I eventually work up towards doing a, a like super wide snatch grip panley rows. And then when I worked up to the heaviest weight, I actually just did like regular snatch grip panley rows. And I did these all with straps because I was just more concerned about maintaining the grip and work out the back muscles. I'm actually wondering, uh, because of the multiple variations I did throughout the day or throughout this workout session, could it also affect the uh, focus towards uh, uh, one lift a day? But then I'm also working out the muscles as well. With different grips, feels different, like in terms of uh, which uh, muscles get fully activated and um, which ones with or which areas would feel more overuse or underuse. Now I was thinking like even when I did like snatch grip uh, like the very wide uh, pen lay rows would I need more practice to uh, get up to a heavier weight Or like even when I went from like a snatch grip uh, of 245 pounds at the widest position and then I want to see what it feels like uh, to do 290 pounds towards the end of the workout. Would I uh, have needed more practice with uh, that specific type of grip with lighter weight before I got to 295 to, uh, to feel more effective to do the lift? So maybe something I can think about in the future workouts. I would admit when I actually watch uh, some of my older uh, YouTube videos uh, to see if there was any progress, I didn't realize I uh, I did a, the widest grip uh, snatch grip uh, penley row with 265 pounds, and I actually did this workout with up to 245 pounds in that type of grip. So I'm actually uh, thinking 
there, there's actually really uh, a big importance on keeping track on paper or on a spreadsheet what the uh, uh, numbers were in previous workouts just so that uh, I can't really keep track of every single thing I I I worked up towards and then if uh, say I did like 265 pounds at one point and then if I did 245 pounds and it felt the same as doing 265 before then there must be a reason why it felt th the same when if I had the exposure before should I been able to do 265 and feel the same or should I be able to do 275 and uh, get at least a couple reps so I did these uh, um, like rowing variations all standing on a deficit because um, I want to activate the hamstrings more I didn't really feel any more lower back strain doing it this way and I kept to the standing ones because I think the carryover to this would be much uh, greater towards uh, uh, deadlifts, rack pulls, and squats. Like I find, like even when I was doing the cheating style on the ones that are like 225 and above, like I was pretty much like just doing like a deadlift or or a faster deadlift, and then just try to pull the weight up. Like I, I would admit, like when I did uh, 295 pounds uh, for three reps, I was pretty much uh, deadlifting the weight and then just trying to uh, bring the elbows higher. But my upper back was really uh, sore the next day.